Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Render Review. Just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone for submitting their images for this episode. If you are interested in having your work featured on the show and for me to have a look and review it, feel free to send your images to realthundorn at gmail.com. I will put the email in the description down below as well, but always happy to receive your images. Before I get started, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So let's jump right into this then. Our first submission is Zoe by Zach Walraven. Really nice image this one. I'm really impressed by it. The lighting is spot on. The car looks really good. The girl's pose is ideal you can see the connection with her foot and the ground it might be slightly off kilter but that's fine nobody stands perfectly flat on the floor anyway car is also making nice contact with the floor some of the limitations with this kind of prop of course is that cars hunker down on their suspension quite a bit and the tires tend to balloon out a little bit at the bottom but that's not something that Zach can really do anything about overall I really like this you can see the reflection of the lighting in the glass again it makes it adds to that realism and because he's using an HDRI the lighting is extremely realistic models looking off into the distance with a kind of vacant expression on her face which is perfectly fine and she's making decent contact with herself her hands are resting on her thighs nicely. There's no clipping that I can see. Shadows are all spot on there. They sort of indicate that she is touching her legs without her fingers poking into the skin. As far as clothing is concerned, it's reasonably revealing, but without being blatantly obvious, which I kind of like. I prefer subtlety, to be honest. Overall, I'd really like this image. Uh, if I was to do this myself, I may move her over a little bit onto either the left or the right hand side of centre just to give us that rule of thirds composition just to make her stand out a little bit more. And I would probably have the tiniest little bit of depth of field on this. I quite like the artwork on the walls in the background so I wouldn't want to blow it out completely. But I would probably just add a little bit of depth there just, just to separate the image ever so slightly. But overall really really nice render i'd be very happy with that if it was my work so really nice job there zach well done next up is an image called fun and games by ajp warren compositionally i really like this image the main character in the shot is over to the left hand side of center on the rule of thirds line which just gives us that improved compositional feel the lighting in this image is really good as well. I really like the realism of the lighting. It does actually look like they are in a bedroom playing a video game together. The lighting from the lamp is also reflecting on the side of the model's face, which again, really nice job with the lighting there. I can see that AJP has spent a lot of time getting that lighting just right. In terms of depth of field, there's a reasonable amount of depth of field in the background which again gives us that separation from the main character and just makes them stand out a little bit more see the background in this image is merely a prop and not a main feature of the image so it doesn't need to be in focus if I could change anything about this image I may just spend a little bit more time posing if you look closely at the controllers in their hands, it doesn't look like they're actually gripping the controllers. They're just The controller is kind of hovering in between their hands, which is fairly noticeable to me. I don't know if AJP spotted it or maybe just still learning and kind of working out those kinks. So a little bit more time wrapping those fingers around the controller so that it looks they're like they're actually gripping would be the thing that I would do. The primary thing that I would improve about this image. But overall, really, really nice image here, AJP. Well done. I'd be chuffed again if this were mine. So keep up the good work, my friend. Last up is an image submitted by a long-term viewer of the channel been a subscriber since way back when I think I had less than a thousand subs when Sensi started 
viewing the channel. And this one's called Dancing Together. Really solid image this. Again, they're making good contact with each other. You can see that their hands are nicely in contact with each other and they're not gripping each other with a death grip. It's a proper dancing kind of pose. Hands are really nicely positioned on their bodies so they're not clipping through the clothing. The expression, they're making good eye contact with each other as well and they're both smiling at each other so they're obviously a couple that are enjoying themselves. The background has got a nice amount of depth of field on it so that it's not distracting but it feels like they're actually in a location. I like these nice three quarter length shots where you are not having to worry about where the feet are with respect to the floor. You can just focus on how the characters are interacting with each other. Overall, the characters themselves look really nice. They're very well lit. You can see that there's a bright light source, maybe even a sunset over to the right of the screen. The surfaces look good. I like the fact that the woman isn't completely perfect. She does have some blemishes on her upper chest and there are some blemishes also on the man's face that you can see as well around his facial hair. It's really good. It just again adds a little bit of photo realism. The jacket does seem to have a slight sheen to it. I don't know if that's intentional or not. So if I were looking for something to change about this image it would possibly be the shader of the jacket just to remove it. You want a little bit of light shining on like there is on the trousers and that's great. On the jacket it just has a kind of plasticky quality to it which as I said if, if I were changing anything about the image it would probably be that. But all in all this is a really solid image. I can see you've been paying attention all this time Sensi so really great job. Well done my friend. I look forward to seeing more of your submissions. So that about wraps up this episode of Render Review. I hope you found that entertaining and informative. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, keep those submissions coming. I only record an episode of Render Review from once I have at least two submissions. So please keep them coming. Send them to the email in the screen above. And of course, read the guidelines, which are also showing on the screen right now. But I will see you all again really soon. Until then though, take really good care of yourselves guys, thanks very much, bye bye.